What's up, Next Gen Leader? Let's talk about why it's important to create your own podcast. I'm Travis Brady, branding mentor, coach's coach, story brand builder, and I'm gonna do a video series on creating your own podcast. And the first video is gonna be talking about why is it important to create your own podcast. So I've been doing uh, podcasting for about seven years. Uh, I first got the idea from a friend, saw that she was doing like this radio show. She told me it was a podcast, and I'm like, what's a podcast? I've never heard of that before. And I was like, wow, that's cool. I want to do it, right? And so she kind of showed me the ropes a little bit and then I just jumped all in. I didn't really have any idea what I was doing um, with it. It just sounded fun. It sounded like um, a cool way to get my message out to the world and, and make clients out of it. And so I started the podcast and at the time I was uh, doing transformation and identity coaching. And so one of the things that I truly believe deep down inside is we always have to evolve who we are, right? We're always evolving. And so I was like, let's build off that main message. So I called it your evolution radio. I called it radio because at the time, <laughs> no one knew what podcasting was. So I thought, you know, let's, let's put it out there as a radio so people can understand it. And it was fun. I didn't really have any idea I was doing or how to um, how to post, what to talk about. Um, I had no idea, you know, how to structure it, uh, intros, outros. I was just I was just clueless, but I jumped all in. Um, and the thing that I had on my side at that point in time is I had a lot of time. I didn't have a wife, didn't have any kids, and so I had the luxury at that point in my life to put a lot of time into the podcast. Um, Your Evolution Radio went on for like two years. Uh, and then I evolved, my business evolved into more of business coaching. And so I started to work with a lot of coaches and personal trainers because I knew that industry very, very well. And so the next podcast was called uh, Your 100K Coaches Podcast. And then I ran that for about you know a year and a half, two years, uh, changed, the, changed the cover a few times uh, you know, to make it look better because at the end of the day, the book cover matters. I don't care who you are, where you're from, you're gonna pick up a book or not pick up a book because of what that cover looks like. So I updated the cover. And then as time went, go, went on, you know, we started to work with other businesses. Our business had transformed into more of an agency rather than um, a business coaching uh, business. And so involved into the Next Gen Agency. And so the name evolved into Next Gen Coaching Chronicles. And Chronicles means a collection of stories. So if you see the, the cover here on the screen, you know, I showed um, a picture of me holding out a book with fire on it, meaning, hey, we're not just gonna share like stories, we're gonna share like the shit that people go through to get where they're at in their business because I think that's important. You know, for me, for a lot of years to hear, you know, some of the things that people actually had to go through, the hard times, um, you know, the times where you know, you feel like quitting, you know, the times where people don't like you, the times where, you know, you're not making as much money, like the, sh the actual shit that people go through. And so, um, and I'm sure the podcast is going to evolve to the next one. I'm probably going to rebrand it here in the next couple of months to uh, making your mark in this world through your brand or something like that. I haven't really uh, decided, but you know, when people approach me and you know, they're saying, Hey, I'm thinking about doing a podcast. What do you think? And I go, absolutely. It's, it's an amazing idea. And if there was no other reason for doing a podcast other than like, it's going to be fun. Like I, that's the only reason you really need. I mean, we go into business, you know, to make money, but part of, you know, making money, we want to have fun along the process. At least that's important for me is to have fun. And so if there was no other reason, to do a podcast besides just how much fun and fulfillment and happiness it brings like that by itself is enough to do the podcast. I've had a lot of fun. I've met a lot of people over the years. Uh, it's really cool to put out a message and have people respond and you know, wake up in the morning to messages uh, saying how I've impacted their life and you can do that same thing too. And I'm sure you already have or else you wouldn't be thinking about doing a podcast but it just magnifies your message and we live in a day and age where, I don't know, I mean, do they call it the digital age? They call it the digital age, Connor? 
Yeah, it, I mean, we're in the digital age. I mean, if, if it's officially called that or not. And so we got to start using technology, okay, to get our message out there at the speed of light and to replicate ourselves. So fun is one of the biggest things. Um, also for me doing the podcast, it's allowed me to connect with other people, people that I otherwise maybe want to have connected uh, with. And I learn, you know, the podcast I've learned from the people that have, have on, I ask them questions. You know, I listen intently, so I've been a student in a way along the process. And then I'd say the last one, which is probably where a lot of people want to do a podcast too, is you're able to get more clients. You're able to get your message out there, uh, market yourself, and pick up new clients. So I want to talk about a little bit about those things. And so at the end of the day, our goal is to get our message out to the world, okay? Everyone has a message. Okay, and our messages usually come from those messes, right? Your greatest messages come from your messes. So we get out those messes to the world and like, hey, if I could do things differently, here's what I would have done. We get it out to the world. And when you get out a message to the world, you're gonna start attracting people, okay? And what people bring is they're gonna bring resources, they're gonna bring other people, they're gonna bring opportunities. And the main resource that you probably want the very most is the money, right? Am I right? Am I right? I'm right, I know I'm right, okay? And so, which then comes back to you. So the, the main thing that a podcast needs to be is the first one is I believe it needs to be fun. Okay, so we need to have fun fun doing it, which, you know, that's probably why you're interested in doing podcasts. Second thing as a podcast allows you to do is it allows you to give, okay? And when people try to fight this current and they try to go backwards, I don't know if you've ever tried to walk up a, a river backwards, it's so hard to move, right? A slow moving river is actually pretty hard to move up against and so when people, try to go backwards to get the money, they usually get swept in the current, okay? The current flows this way, okay? We gotta get out messages to the world, and when we put out messages to the world, you're gonna receive based upon what that message was, right? If you put angry, fearful, mean messages out to the world, you're probably gonna get that. If you put valuable message, inspiring, influential messages to the world, you're gonna receive that, okay? And so the biggest thing too, when it comes down to a podcast is leaders lead, okay? Leaders lead. Leaders put themselves in situations where they're leading other people. And maybe you don't feel like a leader right now. Maybe you're newer in business or you're newer in what you're doing and you're still trying to get that identity to rise up to the level. There's no better thing to do than to put, your situa put yourself in the situations where you're the leader, okay? And one of the things that it's important to do with our brand, which we're gonna be talking about in our next video, okay, how to brand this, but what's really important for a brand is to position yourself as a brand leader. And what do brand leaders do? They talk, they share messages, they're in front of the camera, they're in front of people, okay? They're on the news, they're uh, doing podcasts, radios, interviews. So this is a great way to position yourself as a leader. And what do leaders do? They actually lead. So if you can, so these are the three main reasons why a podcast is going to be beneficial for you. So I'm sure you already bought into it. Um, doing a podcast, I think you're just wanting some more information. So in my next video, what do we do next? We got to brand this baby. Okay, we gotta put a mark, we gotta put a message. That's essentially what a brand is. A brand is a message, okay? If we wanna market it and we want people to come and listen to it, we gotta make sure that we're putting out the right message that's gonna attract the right people. So in our next video, that's what we're gonna be talking about.